In the dimly lit corners of nostalgia, where black and white memories converge with the technicolor dreams of childhood, there exists a timeless beacon that once flickered across television screens legendary 1966 TV series, Batman. Imagine the world, now veiled in the shroud of modernity, being introduced to the caped crusader for the very first time. Picture yourself perched on the edge of anticipation as the iconic theme music trumpeted through the airwaves, signaling the arrival of a hero unlike any other. Perhaps it was Adam West's suave portrayal of the Dark Knight that first drew you in, a wry smile dancing upon his lips even as danger loomed. Or maybe it was Burt Ward's infectious enthusiasm as Robin, the boy wonder that resonated with your youthful exuberance. Together, they brought the comic book panels to life, infusing each scene with a sense of playful gravity that left an indelible mark on an entire generation. Remember those exhilarating moments when the Batmobile roared into action, its flamboyant design defying convention yet capturing the essence of escapism. The show was a concoction of satire and sincerity, delivering pun-laden dialogue with a straight face and teaching us that even in the face of peril, a well-placed biff in POW could save the day. And oh, the villains, Cesar Romero's Joker, Burgess Meredith's Penguin, Frank Gorshin's Riddler, and Julie Newber's Catwoman each portrayal a masterclass in deliciously over-the-top villainy. Their antics were a symphony of wickedness, every cackle, every plot more delightfully extravagant than the last. But behind the curtain of campy charm lay a production that defied expectations and etched its mark on television history. The set design, the costumes, the unforgettable bat gadgets, it was a labor of love that translated comic book fantasy into tangible, vibrant reality. So, as we delve into the kaleidoscope of random facts about this iconic show, let's remember the sensation of being transported to a world where the sky was a canvas of primary colors and danger was but a temporary distraction from the thrill of the unknown. For those who first witnessed Batman's twirl into their living rooms, it was an experience that melded innocence and excitement in a way that only the 60 seconds could conjure. And now, let's pull back the curtain and reveal the intriguing tapestry of facts that make this series a true gem of its era. Of its era. Of its era. The 1966 TV series Batman emerged during a time when comic book adaptations were rare on television. The show drew inspiration from the colorful and campy nature of the Batman comics of that era, creating a unique blend of action, comedy, and pop art. The series introduced audiences to the iconic characters of Batman and Robin, portrayed by Adam West and Burt Ward, respectively. Adam West's stoic portrayal of Batman and Burt Ward's energetic Robin formed a dynamic crime-fighting duo that engaged in over-the-top adventures in Gotham City. The show's distinctive style was marked by its vibrant visual aesthetics, on-screen sound effects, and exaggerated acting. Its storytelling often veered into campiness, utilizing humor and satire to entertain viewers. The series capitalized on the pop art movement of the 1960s, embracing bright colors and bold designs. The portrayal of Batman as a bright knight and the inclusion of catchy catchphrases like pow and bam during fight scenes became emblematic of the show's style. Batman left a significant impact on popular culture by making superheroes a mainstream phenomenon. Its success paved the way for future adaptations and contributed to the enduring popularity of the Caped Crusader. The show's distinct approach influenced subsequent iterations of Batman in various media, including comics, TV shows, and movies. Its lighthearted take on the character contrasted with later, darker interpretations, showcasing the versatility of the Batman mythos. Random facts about the show, the Batmobile, a modified 1955 Lincoln Futura concept car, became an iconic vehicle associated with the series. The show's cliffhanger endings often left viewers in suspense until the next episode aired. Cesar Romero's portrayal of the Joker, complete with his signature mustache covered by white makeup, remains memorable. Burgess Meredith's portrayal of the Penguin and Frank Gorshin's Riddler also left lasting impressions. The show's popularity led to a feature film released in 1966, bringing the dynamic duo to the big screen. Cesar Romero's unconventional Joker stylings, a brush with infamy in the annals of television history, the 1966 Batman series shines as a beacon of colorful camp and cape crusaders. Amidst the bat symbols and bat gadgets, one peculiar anecdote stands out, 
Cesar Romero's steadfast commitment to his mustache, even when donning the manic grin of Gotham's clown prince of crime, the Joker. Romero, a suave and charismatic actor, found himself facing an unexpected challenge when tapped to portray the iconic supervillain. Rather than parting ways with his signature mustache, a move that would have stayed true to the character's clean-shaven look, Romero took an unconventional path. He defiantly chose to paint over his mustache with white makeup, allowing his facial hair to remain intact. This eccentric decision led to a distinctive interpretation of the Joker's visage. With every wicked laugh and maniacal scheme, Romero's mustache subtly peeked through, adding an uncanny layer to the character's already eerie demeanor. The result was a Joker that, while diverging from comic canon, cemented itself as an indelible part of the show's offbeat charm. The clash between Romero's commitment to his mustache and the expectations of the role created an unintended yet memorable version of the Joker. This quirky choice showcases the unpredictable nature of television production and the myriad ways in which actors can leave their mark on beloved characters. As the bat signal continues to illuminate screens in various iterations, Cesar Romero's mustachioed Joker remains an eyebrow-raising footnote in the annals of superhero television lore. An emblem of the show's irreverence and Romero's dedication, this curious fact serves as a reminder that even the most iconic characters can undergo unexpected transformations, much like the ever-evolving city they inhabit. Electric signals and Shakespeare bust, a glimpse behind the scenes of 1966 TV's Batman, and the vibrant world of 1,966 seconds iconic Batman series, where capes and crime fighting reign supreme, a subtle marvel lay behind the famous bookcase of Wayne Manor. The Shakespeare bust, known for concealing the bat poles, held a secret of its own. Contrary to its on-screen function, the electric switch embedded within the bus didn't trigger the bookcase's slide. Rather, it illuminated a discrete signal light for the crew. A deft flick of the switch and a glow signaled the stagehands to reveal the bat pole's descent. The genius behind this trickery illuminated the meticulous attention to detail that permeated the show. While the bust's electric switch lacked its fictional prowess, its role in guiding the set's dynamics added a layer of backstage intrigue. This clever innovation showcases the creativity that fueled the show's success and the collaborative efforts required to bring Gotham's heroes to life. As the series hurtled through its run, a contract dispute cast its shadow, leading to a brief but impactful substitution. Frank Gorshin, the indelible Riddler, missed an episode due to this contractual tussle. John Astin stepped into the breach, embodying the villainous Riddler shoes for that solitary chapter. Additionally, the enigmatic puzzler was initially conceived as a puzzle piece of the Riddler's enigma. Yet, circumstances morphed, giving birth to an independent puzzle master. Gorshin's eventual return lent a sense of continuity, allowing the Riddler's cackle to resonate one last time in the show's final season. Behind the scenes, the capes and tights concealed tales of actual peril. Burt Ward, Robin to Batman's crime-fighting tenure, did it emerge unscathed from the explosive theatrics. The pyrotechnic pursuits that added flair to the show often sparked unintended mishaps. Ward bore the brunt of these as ill-conceived explosions left him burned and wounded by shrapnel, a testament to the hazards that lurk within staged heroics. One unforgettable incident saw him catapulted from the Batmobile as a door flung open during a high-speed turn. The very vehicle that embodied superheroic escape became an unwitting accomplice to his plight. In the annals of television history, the 1966 Batman series remains a beacon of campy heroism. But beyond the colorful escapades and whimsical villains, lay tales of ingenuity, resilience, and risk. The Shakespeare bust's dual purpose, the contractual quirk that shuffled villains, and Ward's off-screen trials underscored the complexities that underpinned the show's shimmering exterior. These glimpses into the inner workings of Gotham remind us that every hero's journey transcends the screen. The screen. The screen. In the illustrious 1966 TV series Batman, a hidden layer of references and connections adds intrigue to the Cape Crusader's escapades. Notably, the series often alludes to an enigmatic figure, Governor Stonefellow, who remains unseen but not unheard. Commissioner Gordon's cryptic phone conversations with the governor, 
and mentions of their interactions lay the groundwork for an intriguing subplot. This narrative twist takes an unexpected turn when considering that the name Governor Stonefellow is a sly nod to none other than New York's own political titan, Governor Nelson Rockefeller. The creative minds behind Gotham City, an urban mirror of New York, cleverly wove this connection, underscoring the show's real-world inspirations. Furthermore, the intricate world of Batman extends beyond its own confines, sharing a hidden thread with other beloved series of the time. The show's prop department found itself as a supplier not only to the Batcave, but to a range of other fictional universes. The very props that adorned the sets of Batman also graced the worlds of Lost in Space, the Time Tunnel, Land of the Giants, and Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. This behind-the-scenes synergy stands as a testament to the resourcefulness and collaborative spirit of the entertainment industry during this era. Within the realm of rogues and riddles, two figures stand tall. The Joker and the Penguin, arch-nemeses of Batman, boast the distinction of having the most stories dedicated to their villainous exploits. Their characters' complexity and chemistry with the Dark Knight ensured their frequent returns to the script. On the other end of the spectrum, a curious assembly of one-story villains flip briefly across the screen adding a tantalizing diversity to the show's gallery of adversaries. In the annals of television history, the 1966 Batman series emerges as more than just a tale of good versus evil. Its layers of references, shared props, and character nuances offer a glimpse into the interconnectedness of storytelling and the intricate design of a beloved show that continues to captivate audiences to this day. And that's the bad fact. Fact fact, as we lower the curtain on the iconic bat signal and bid adieu to the whimsical yet captivating world of the 1966 TV series Batman. Let your imagination take one final swing through the Gotham cityscape. The vibrant hues, the campy charm, and the dynamic duo's unforgettable one-liners have left an indelible mark on the annals of pop culture. But beyond the POWs and BAMs lies a deeper connection that resonates with each of us in unique ways. As you reflect on the adventures of Batman and Robin, perhaps you find a piece of your own journey mirrored within the capes and cowls. Was it the thrill of justice served, the humor that brightened even the darkest corners, or perhaps the camaraderie of fighting side by side with an unbreakable bond? This series, though lighthearted, has always possessed the power to touch the heartstrings of fans, weaving its threads into the tapestry of our own stories. So, dear reader, whether you were tuning in during the show's original airing or discovered it through the pages of history, I invite you to share your cherished memories, thoughts, and interpretations of the show that forever left its mark. Let us celebrate the legacy of Batman by letting your voice rise like the Batmobile's engine echoing through the alleys of nostalgia. Thank you for joining me on this journey down the bat-laden memory lane, and for allowing your love for the 1966 TV series Batman to shine brightly. Your stories enrich the legacy of this show and inspire the generations that follow. Keep those bat signals of passion lit, and let your voice be heard. Stay caped, stay curious, and keep those bat dreams alive. Until next time, same bat time, same bat channel. Your thoughts, your memories, they are what make this universe enduringly vibrant, and it's been an honor to share in this connection. With bat gratitude and creative sparks,